Welcome back. It's that time. It's time to replace the developer and the developing unit on the 1070. So I have a developer developing unit because we're getting these bands. And that's a telltale sign that it's time to change the developer. And on these 1070s and 2070, 3070, most of the newer Konica machines you're going to want to replace both the developer and the developing unit at the same time. And the one that's in here is like 200 something percent. It's well beyond its useful life. So let's do this. First things first, let's unbox everything. I'm not actually going to need this because we're not dumping the developer out. We're just replacing a new one. Okay, so these come completely empty. That's why we have the developer separate. She's nice and clean. Let's put this label on. First things to move this connector out of the way because this top cover here is gonna come off. So you just need to pull it back through. Kind of move it out of the way there. And we got one screw here, another screw here, and then these four tabs. That easy, we're in. Uh, so what we have to do next, uh, we gotta open this up and grab the tool out of it. Then we're gonna pour this developer in here and turn the screw to even the developer out. Don't forget to shut her all down. You gotta have all the power off to do this. This tool right here is the one that you're gonna need to agitate the developing unit. And if you can see on there, there's an arrow showing which way it needs to turn. So it just comes right on here, and then you gotta turn it towards you. I think we're good. Just do this in reverse. This kind of sits right down on top. Four clips. These two screws. And put the connector back. Then we're ready to put it in. Okay, and to take these out, it's real simple. It used to, you used to have to take more screws out in the, the C6500, but uh, just disconnect this connector here. Move that out of the way. And uh, just pull this out towards you. And just set the new one in. Oh man, I put that label over here. That is gonna drive me nuts. Oh well, and connect this. Okay, I was able to correct that. Now let's close it up. The service manual suggests that you clean this glass while you're at it. So this looks really clean. I'll be honest, I don't take a very technical approach. I usually just put it right on my pant leg here, wipe it off, and she's good to go. So the way I like to do it is I turn on that, that the main power and then the sub power, and I let the door open. And the reason I do that is so that it doesn't go into any adjustments or start warming up or anything before I can go into the service menu. Another way to do it is you can actually hold the utility counter as it's booting and it'll directly go into service menu, but this is just how I do it. Okay, once it's turned on, uh, just go into the service menu. Stop zero, zero, stop zero, one. 
and then you can close the door and we need to reset the developer and the developing unit and that's going to be in counter data here parts counter special parts one developing and then we're going to scroll down to developer right here which is the K the black developer and we're going to clear the counter on that and then we're going to go find the developing unit on the next page go down developing unit clear counter so that's all zeroed out then we're going to go return and we go back up to service here process adjustment i should also point out uh, just in case it's not obvious to everybody out there you should be only resetting the counters for whatever you replaced so in this case it was just black but if you're doing cyan magenta yellow and black you should be doing that for all of the developers and the developing units okay once we're in the process adjustment you're going to want to go to drum and then toner density sensor initial and select whichever unit you're doing for us it's black start okay after that's been completed then we do the gamma automatic adjustment okay gamma is done then we go back here back to the service machine printer color registration start that one once the registration's done you can just close out all, all this then don't forget to go to your rip and calibrate your rip to your printer and then you're done and then it's off to the races so quit messing around with fixing stuff and get to printing stuff alrighty see you on the next one